Hi, so I wanted to show you this one really quick. This vanilla bean was pollinated nine months ago. The flower was pollinated nine months ago. And then you can see the vanilla bean is pretty much matured now. And on the same vanilla orchid, this is the vanilla planifolia vine, by the way. You can see a new flower bud emerging. And that's right here. The old, already mature fruit, or vanilla bean, vanilla pod, and the new flower emerging. And this one is pretty ready. Any day I have to pick it. Say 20 to 30 feet goes all around the low quad tree. This is the plant itself and it goes all around. It grows into the tree. semi-epiphytic so it can take up food and nutrients from the air also but organic matter helps and you can see how thick the leaves are pretty big size I would say around 8 inches or so, maybe 6 to 8 inches. More orchid buds at the lanai. Some of it I don't even remember what colors because I planted so many last year. I separated so many last spring. First time flowering. This arrangement also from the garden. This is a type of ground orchid. I have red color of this one and a creamish white color. And this one is the matchstick bromelia. Very cute bromelia and lasts a good amount of time in water. So I can also enjoy them inside the house. And this is just the newest orchid from Publix. It was like $10, $10.99. So it's really not a bad price. And what I like about these live plants that they last for months. Unlike when you buy the cut flowers, which I love, you know, I love flowers. The flowers my weakness, but uh, they only last uh, one to two weeks maybe some of them three weeks but most of the time it's about two weeks maximum but this one for months i can enjoy them so i'm a sucker when it comes to when i see them and uh, this is absolutely gorgeous for ten dollars i like it better than a bouquet of roses actually I love roses too though. <laughs> so that's for the update. I will see you guys with more plant videos later. Have a good day. Bye.